fool's paradise trapped inside the assumptions of linear materialism and rationalism. That's yeah. the most seductive and delicious aspect of your thesis is that, my God, there is a reality somewhere beyond that membrane. And then you compound it with, with the exploration of logic or rationale where you present to us the possibility that the Big Bang is the biggest, is the most ludicrous thing to combine with rationality as could possibly be imagined. And then I've even heard people address, well, how is it possible that the vanity of the individual human being could think that he's so important that the rest of the, the galaxy, the universe out there, that we should be at all significant, whereas you say, well, hell, that's all mindscape. It doesn't exist. Or it feels like you say, well, it's, it's a mindscape. You know, it isn't. It is, it's, it's an invention. Well, wh what I'm really saying is we know a lot less than we assume we know. I mean, if someone tells you that we live around a, a typical star at the edge of a typical galaxy strewn through a mega space trillions of times larger, I mean, they don't know what they're talking about. That's just the cheerful assurance of modern astronomy based on a bunch of fishy formulas that were cooked up uh, within the confines of the 20th century. I mean, it, the stars that shine down at night could be uh, painted dots on a scrim for all we know. I mean, I'm not saying that's the case, but what I am saying is uh, I think that the greatest disservice that science has done to humankind is the marginalizing of our own importance. If we even, let's take an objective measure uh, of, com uh, and uh, I think complexity, if you look around at nature, at the fossil record, at the human family, uh, complexity is clearly something very dear to nature. Nature preserves it, nature works through it, nature builds upon it. Well, uh, we're told we're a minor this in orbit around a minor that in a typical that and so forth and so on. But if you will look at the human cerebral cortex, what you discover is the most densely complexified matter known to exist in the universe. The human cerebral cortex contains more connections per cubic centimeter than any form of matter known to exist in this cosmos. If that's true, suddenly our marginality is completely obviated and it's clear that no, we are not marginal observers of a vast cosmic drama. We are uh, at the cutting edge of the development and conservation of complexity and it is our mind which gives us these scenarios of our, of our position in space and time. It may well be that the human mind is very, very important. The human mind represents the culmination of biology, which is another phenomenon that these astrophysicists always love to marginalize and say, oh, well, biology, it's just going on on one planet as far as we know. It could be a fluke. It may have happened once and it'll never happen again. But you know, the life of most stars is on the order of 500 million years. We happen to have the good fortune to be in orbit around a very slow burning stable star. And so we have ignored the fact that most stars last less than half a billion years. We can dig into the Gunflint Church of South Africa and bring up fossils of, of uh, soft-bodied creatures that are close to three billion years old, six times the life of most stars in the universe. So when somebody's trying to tell you that what you, the universe is about is the life and death of stars, they're ignoring the fact that biology is a phenomenon as persistent as any phenomenon known to exist in the universe. And biology is not a static phenomenon. It isn't an endless recycling of, of fissionable materials the way star life is. Biological life has been steadily complexifying itself over the entire time span of its existence. So life is not marginal. Mind emerging out of life at its more complex levels of organization is not marginal. And we 
are not marginal. We are, I think, tremendously important in the cosmic drama and that a rational analysis of the situation will support that, yeah. You commented in that regard, in kind of 